As you come to a new skin meeting, you become part of the new skin family. Because family and community and helping each other is really important to us. Well, I grew up in New York on Long Island. This is my house. And as a little girl, I had a very, very important person in my life, and that was my dad. I had these dreams, like all of us do. Let's say one of my dreams, as you can tell from my cowgirl hat, is I wanted a ranch. I wanted to ride horses and be a cowgirl. Now that I'm living in New York, what are my chances? So my dad, being the father of the 50s, said, well, then you better marry a rich rancher. <laughs> that was his solution. And I said, you know what? What if I want to be a rich rancher? You know what he said? You could do anything you want to do. You'll probably be able to do that. Ooh. You know, all we need is one person to believe in us. In this room, you have a whole room of people that believe in you. But that one person that believes in you unwaveringly, and that was my dad. And I had these dreams. I wanted to be a cowgirl. Another time I was walking down the streets of New York City looking up at these skyscrapers saying, Dad, how do these people live in these skyscrapers? How do they, what do they do? He said they work very hard. Now, I knew my dad worked hard. He worked harder than anyone I knew. He was up at 4 a.m., driving into New York City, coming home late, and then doing church service at night. He was a busy man, and we didn't live in a penthouse. You saw it. <laughs> so what, what was different? And I said, Dad, you work hard. How come we don't live in a penthouse? And he said, because they also work smart. They have the right vehicle for success. Hmm. Okay, let's let's fast forward. <laughs> fast forward a bit, and so you moved to Utah to, to go to school from New York. I came to uh, BYU. And at this hunk of, of an oil field worker, my dad, I met right? The oil field worker, <laughs> who was also going to school at the time. And I have these dreams. First of all, I want to own a horse really bad. Well, I had children instead of horses. <laughs> and you, they're more important to feed, for sure. Thanks. <laughs> you weren't there yet. Oh, yeah. But, uh, you know, and I was a school teacher making $9,000 a year. I heard Julie say some astronomical figure of 20. <laughs> but we, I make $9,000 a year with my children. And, and my dreams weren't coming true. But... I had a mentor. I had Clara McDermott in my life because she was my mother-in-law. So when I got Craig, the oil rig worker, who actually is fantastic and a great salesperson, I also got Clara. Now she's the kind of mother-in-law that comes to your house and wants to rearrange the furniture. <laughs> but with that <laughs> comes an opinion. And, and with that comes a power that says, I think I'm right, and I think I have things that you will enjoy, and I think I can inspire you to get those for yourself. And that's what she did. She lost 50 pounds on a weight loss program. She, uh, I was working in her wig shop at the time. Everybody came in. Ooh, this is a valuable lesson. She lost 50 pounds, and everybody came in to see her and wanting to know about what product she was using. And, and Grandma tells that she got so sick and tired of telling how she lost her weight, she told everybody to come back on Thursday night and she would tell them all at the same time. And that's how we started these, these weekly meetings, right? The first open meeting, the first business briefing. Now this was with a different opportunity. It was with um, a diet plan, but it was network marketing. And I remember Clara calling me on her way home from being, she was selling so much of this stuff and ordering it over uh, the phone that the company called her and said, we're thinking of marketing this with this network marketing. Would you like to be one of the first distributors of the... But yes, she said. We didn't know what we were doing. She drove home and she called me on the, us on the phone and said, Craig's got to quit working on the oil rig and you have to quit school and you're going to become distributors for this. Wow, okay. I knew it was worked and I knew I was, we were already selling a lot of it. I knew the product was an emotional, consumable product. And so, okay, we're going to do it. Well, we were living in this house at the time, very stretched, 
And we just started sharing the product. And life changed quickly. Life changed quickly. In three months' time, we got a check for like X amount. X amount. X amount. <laughs> It was a good amount. And I remember walking through the grocery store thinking, I don't have to buy no-name tuna. <laughs> the other kind tastes so much better. <laughs> so I was, I was empowered. Now we're still living in this house. We're so busy. We're building this business. We're doing great. Everything's going well. Things are... We're building this business and we're being treated so wonderfully. And then they went and bounced our bonus check. Well, that was a pretty bad day. It wasn't stage four cancer, but it was a pretty bad day in, at, at that point. And, uh, you know, we'd, we had the high life. I was used to enjoying these beautiful things. I had this car parked in the driveway of that house. <laughs> People thought we were unemployed for a while, and then they thought we were probably drug dealers. <laughs> and they realized we were selling nutritional products. Um, exactly. You know, we had Grandma told you all to maintain conservative lifestyles and things, and that's what you were basically doing. Right. But the company had, had made some mistakes, and so you you found something in network marketing that you that that you that enabled you to get to your dreams and to some of these goals that you had set for yourself, but. How did it feel when that was kind of taken away from you? Well, that was the worst day. And we all have worst days so far, right? <laughs> Best is yet to come. Maybe your worst is yet to come. But it's how you handle that super bad day. And the way I handled it was not to say network marketing's bad, I'm never going to do it, I can't believe this has happened to me, I blame everyone else for this happening to me. This happened. How do I fix it? Well, I could have joined another network marketing company, but I didn't trust anyone. I mean, they had treated me wonderfully in this company, so wonderfully they went bankrupt. They had mismanaged the corporate funds. I couldn't trust someone else not to do that other than myself, because I was raised to be very fiscally responsible. I, we didn't have credit cards when we couldn't pay for them. You know, I'm I, a very conservative person, and I thought I could do a company. I also had been mentored by Clara a little bit by uh, the founder of that company, Eileen Feather. And so I thought, I think things are possible for me. I think I can start my own company. And to put this into perspective, you were 28 at the time. We did the math. You were my age. I was Derek's age. Would you have trusted me as the CEO of the company? <laughs> well, I can say we had a lot of trust. <laughs> but it's just incredible that you had that, that initiative. And this is where I kind of sneak into the scene. I'm actually in this picture. You can't see me because I'm behind the product. But um, I, uh, I, I was born in 1985. You started New Skin in 1984. And uh, now, when I showed you this graph a few weeks ago, you said something really powerful. Which graph? You're not, are you showing that graph? I'm showing oh. this graph right here. So, I, I didn't like that graph. Derek was showing me because he was building the new PowerPoint for his group. And I'm looking at it, and I said, well, I hate that graph. Why do you hate that graph? Because look, it, look, it looks like we did nothing <laughs> for the first uh, 84 to 88. Like, the, the, first five, the first five years, you guys were just sitting around. No, because the first five years, we were actually working harder than I have ever worked in my life. First of all, I had a baby. I had two other children. And we were distributors, uh, corporate. We were shipping. We were product fulfillment. We were everything, the two of us, Blake and I. So the first office we had, Blake and I. Two desks, two telephones. Does this sound like maybe your office? You're all, you're, you know, your offices can start wherever they are. Wherever you start to do business in your mind, that's where your office starts. And we also, by the way, demonstrated the difference by painting facial lift system on one half of the face and doing demos. That's how we sold product. We would go to elk lodges or places and maybe only one person would come, maybe five people would be there and we would demonstrate the product. That, that one, Blake was actually 
demonstrating the product in a double wide trailer is that picture with those gals laying down. So that's, that's our beginnings. Does that sound familiar? That's how I started my business. It was, I was an army of one, right? And you and Blake and Steve, you, you made a great team. You all pulled some unique characteristics. And I remember one time I walked into your bathroom when, when you were getting ready for the day, when I was just a kid, and there were all these non-new skin products all over the counter. And at first it was almost like, oh no, mom's not using new skin products. And I almost felt like I'd just seen something, like I was gonna have to keep it a secret for the rest of my life, you know? She doesn't even use this stuff. But then you said something really powerful that just made total sense. We're a team, but do you see Blake and Steve using all these products every morning and trying to figure out what's trending and what's good and what's not so good? And then oh, I no, thought, no, now, I was research and development. <laughs> would Blake be doing market research trying different skincare products? I don't think so. And on top of that, Mom, you had amazing experience in network marketing with the previous company, so you knew what it was like to become a distributor. Right, I, I am sort of a distributor in corporate clothing, I gotta tell you, <laughs> because I really have the heart of a distributor. My whole you know, family had, we're a distributor family. And um, I really believe it's the way that you created, you know, you have a belief in it, why? Why do you have a belief in this? I mean, my belief is there because I, I watched you and dad succeed and I watched you work really hard in the corporate scenario and I watched dad as a distributor and, and I gravitated towards that lifestyle. And knowing that the company was founded by a, a corporate personality that understood what it was like to be a struggling distributor, just like I would be, and, and just like I, I, I was, really meant a lot, right? So I was able to put trust in this company. I, I knew it better than anything else, and uh, I fall in love with Muskin at a very young age. So, so, so that's why I'm here with Muskin. And it's the greatest compliment, if you think about it, that for me, to have my children in the business. So, and he's made me proud. But, thank you. Anyway, look, so, at, look at this, Derek. So, now Mom, it's a what? <laughs> you, you grew, this company grew by a billion dollars last year. Incredible. <laughs> you must have been working so hard this last year, right? No. I mean, the first five years, it was a flat line. You guys were just taking, taking some, some years off. This last year, you grew by a billion bucks. What's I that all know. about? It was amazing, and I didn't work as hard. Because the benefit now is we have a team of people. We're in 53 countries. We have a support system around the world. We have big meetings like this. You know, when we, when we had our first convention, we had 500 people that I had to call and beg to come, and they didn't have to pay. <laughs> because we were trying to build the momentum that we have now. And you are so lucky to have the leadership I'm so lucky to have the leadership of the company that we have. Truman, Steve, Scott Schwartz, his team. Scott, I love Scott. You are so lucky to have Scott. <laughs> so, and I, I can't tell you how much we appreciate it because, you know, just as when you sponsor someone and you get all excited that someone else is helping you build, it was the same thing for us. You know, we were excited to have our distributor base build, but we were more excited you know, when we, when, as a corporate team, when we had really great leadership at the top. And Steve didn't get paid for years. We were all volunteers in the beginning. No one got paid. And, uh, you know, because that was the sacrifice. Now, it was okay for me because I had already had, I'd become a millionaire with the other, just, you know, opportunity. But Blake had just graduated from school. He was poor. <laughs> from student loans and uh, trying to make his way. And he was, and Steve just, we couldn't afford an attorney, so we just told Steve that he had to work for free and we'd give him some of this stock someday. <laughs> and he did it. <laughs> and he did it well, so thank you, Steve. But, uh, and, and that brings up one of, the, one of the principles that New Skin is definitely founded on, which is fiscal responsibility and, and you know, basically having total in integrity. So do you want to speak about that for a minute? Well, I'm very lucky to have partnered with men of integrity. So many times greed sets in the way or you know, immediate gratification is, I, we've got to have this in order to get that. You know, we grew the, the business very slowly and we didn't grow it 
selfishly, we didn't get paid while we were writing distributor checks for 10,000 or more a month. And that's tough, <laughs> especially when you're, you know, struggling to make ends meet. So it, it was a point of uh, refinement, I would say. And we got to see our true colors, and our colors were perfect for each other. And we worked together from there. We also never went into debt. We were debt-free until we became a public company, and then all that gets all confused. I don't know why, but, uh, you know, it, you run your business differently. But we were debt-free. Of course, it was easy in the beginning. No one would have loaned us money. But later on, we realized that it was good that we were growing our business the way we were growing it. And it's still built on that principle, where this amazing innovation center that we just finished... $100 million innovation center just been completed cash. All of the acquisitions Lucy has made over the years, it's great to know that we have a company that has cash on hand to, to pay the distributor checks. Well, and to buy innovation. You know, we, exactly. when we buy innovation, we have to spend a lot of cash to do it, and it's good that we have it, that we are fiscally responsible. And the first thing we did from the very beginning when we were calculating bonus checks on the carpet with index cards was uh, make sure from every sale that we retained the percentage that we needed to pay our distributors, because I knew what it felt like not to be paid, and that wasn't going to happen. And with that in mind, with Sandy Tillotson being one of our first distributors in New Skin, let's talk about this, our vision statement. The company's vision statement is this. Our vision is to become the world's leading direct selling company by generating more income for our sales leaders than any other company. Now, again, looking through the lens of a distributor, because that's what you are in your heart, and, and you're a distributor in corporate clothing, what does this vision statement mean to you? It means everything. It means our commitment to ensure that your opportunity stays viable and vital. And you have it from the company. I think you feel that. I think you know that. Our commitment is for our distributors to succeed, because we know that through your success, we'll be successful too. And how, yeah, let's give a round of applause there. And when I'm telling people this vision statement, I, I say, now think about your boss's office back at, back at your job. Is there a plaque on the desk or on the wall? Does it say anywhere, our goal is to become the world's biggest company by paying our employees as much as possible? That's not built into the corporate mindset, right? I mean, but that, that is here at New Skin. That's one of the principles that it's founded on. And that's why I chose New Skin as my vehicle when I was 18 years old. And back at my first age lock convention, my grandma, Clara, who was my, my mother's mentor, actually pulled me and my cousins aside and she said, with this opportunity of age lock, you kids have an opportunity to duplicate the kind of success that your parents created, which was just incredible. These are the five key points that we talk about when we're discussing new skin with, with, with prospects and friends and, and family and things like that. Now, you told a story back in 1984. How does our story today compare to the story that you told back then? Well, I often hear people say, oh, you know, I heard about this back in the 80s. I should have joined. No, you shouldn't have. <laughs> At least to a certain degree, because, you know, there was a six to eight week lead time on product. You ordered your product, six to eight weeks, you'd get it. Now, that's a hard way to build your business. You know, we were calculating bonus checks on the floor with business cards. And with the advent of the computer and how beautifully poised we were with that, now we have a global seamless marketing plan. We had small meetings. <laughs> we had no leadership. Now you have leadership all over the world. If you, find, if you have a relative that lives in London, I have some distributors I know that will help them support that person. And that's what makes this the Muskin family, really. You know, the products keep getting better and better. The story that we're telling keeps getting better and better. And I'm confident, I have two boys, I'm confident that by the time they're old enough to start thinking about their own families, there will be an opportunity here for them. And so thank you so much for, for creating that for each and every one of us. Now, let's talk a little bit, Mom, about what New Skin has given you. 
30 year, happy birthday by the way, 30 years, 30 years. of business. I know. And then everyone has ideas, but the work and the good partnership and the most important element of it being, as the gentleman last night, Louis, said, you can never, ever, ever quit. Because when times got tough, and it was nothing like what that man endured, but when times got tough business-wise for me, when I couldn't get products out and I was tired or I was trying to get bonus checks out and I had to sleep over at the office or all those things, I didn't quit. Now, I'm not saying I never had the idea to quit. Because <laughs> a bunch of times I thought, I've just got to stop this. I've got a new baby, you know, he's crying in the office. Everything's going haywire. But Blake and I never quit on the same day. <laughs> so, if you feel like quitting, find someone that doesn't want you to quit. <laughs> because they'll talk some sense into you. And this is my proudest, this is my proudest achievement, is being able to have my children and hopefully someday my grandchildren in some way be involved in network marketing, in this business, in this business of community, in this business of fun. Definitely. And now it's not just our family either. I mean, it started out as a family business between you, Blake, and, and a few others, but it's definitely expanded and our family's become a very small part of yeah, I can no longer, this day and age. I can no longer have the team elites over for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, it started as you know diamond, and then it was blue diamond, then it was team elite, and then it was platinum team elite, because people keep surprising us with how successful they can become if they set their mind to success. And uh, you know, it's so wonderful. Like you go on vacation with these people, and you get to know them, and you get to socialize, and you get to see their dreams, and you get to share in their success. But what I even like better these days is going to the success trip. Because it kind of reminds me of the roots, because it's the people that are really building the business. The people, not the team leads don't build the business, but you know, they've built it. This is, these are the people that are anxiously engaged in setting goals and achieving, and it's so fun. You're so fun. I've been on two of them now. I went on, or, yes. Bermuda. I went to Bermuda. And the cruise. And I went to the cruise, and then I'll be in Hawaii. Because I love associating with people that are making this business happen. And that's who goes on these success trips. Now, how many people want to go on a success trip? All right, that's, that's a lot of people. You better get a bigger boat. Or well, multiple boats, multiple right? Boats. Just keep, keep building boats. Scott can pay for it, okay? If you burn it, he's going to send you on... That's right, it was Hawaii on me, isn't it? Yeah, Hawaii. I can't wait to get his credit card. Yeah, there you go. So these amazing success trips and every I mean, she, you, you get to spend time with Sandy Tillotson and other people and, and, and Scott and others and, and, you know, really learn more and spend time with, with your upline and support. And so, you know, Jackson, everybody's excited for that, for that trip as well. But um, now you've been able to have an obvious, obviously a huge impact in lives of your customers that are, their, whose lives are being changed because of TR90 and the products and things. Obviously, distributors are being impacted by the business vehicle, but do you want to take a minute and talk about the heart of New Skin? Well, in the very beginning, we wanted to give back. Because that's, I, that's what I like. You know, if you give the, the more you give, the more you get, and it's really working. So I would consider it if you're not already engaged in that program. And, but we, were, we wanted to make a difference. But how much difference can I make as a school teacher? How much difference can I make even as a corporate owner? But the difference I can make if, I, if we create a force, and that's where we came up with the force for good. And that way, if everybody just does a little bit, it's amazing the difference we can make. I mean, here, it was back in two, 2006. 2006, I'm announcing and very proud of 65 million meals. Anyone know how many million meals we have now distributed? 355 million meals around the world. Now, there's really, there's really no reason for hunger. There's lots of food. There's lots of people that can buy food. We can make food for the people, and we can feed them. And you know, Blake blatantly says, I would like to see this program end world hunger. You know, and he said a long time ago he wanted it to be a 10 
million dollar company and look what happened. <laughs> exactly. Now, I just want to thank you for your time today, for sharing this amazing story, for creating this amazing opportunity that we are all in alignment with and building with. So thank you so much. Is there anything you, would, you could say to this group and me um, in terms of advice for 2014? It's the first month. We have a whole year ahead of us. It'll be the biggest year in New Skin's history. Tell us what we can do to maximize it. All right. In, uh, in September, I went on TR90. Because, why did I do that? I had some pounds to lose. First of all, we were launching a product, and I believe I have to be the product of the product. So I've lost 17 pounds since September 4th. Because I'm a product of the product, and I've always been a product of the product. I scanned 81,000 on the scanner. I am a product of the product. I encourage all of you to become a product of the product. Because if you are a product of all of our products, you will attract attention. People will say, what are you doing? You know, when I walk into Waterford School as on Grandmother's Day, <laughs> all right? Tutu, you don't look like those other grandmas. Well, thank you. <laughs> you I should give like, you my business card. I know. <laughs> I just Here, walk around oh, my son, you can help oh, me out. Oh, my son, he, he can hook you up. No, but it's, it, you know, that is what we can all do for ourselves is improve our own lives with the product. And then, with the opportunity, have this opportunity appear attractive, because it is. It's fun, so show fun, have fun. If I'm not having fun, I don't want to do it. And I can have fun in pretty much everywhere I go. It's all a mindset, so have fun. And then never, ever, ever quit. The only people I know that are not successful in new skin have quit. Okay, they're not successful, they stopped doing it. You can't stop doing something and think there was something wrong with that. Because it's just your choice, you chose not to do it. Because we are here to support you. And I mean, 30 years later, why am I still at a distributor meeting in Anaheim? I could be on a beach doing, I don't know what, probably, I don't know. <laughs> but that's why I don't go there. <laughs> I don't think of what to do there. But um, instead, we're in this room. We've heard all sorts of ideas about this opportunity. If you don't think this is a good company yet, I, I don't know what we have to do, because we are. And this is a good group of people, and we're anxiously engaged in giving back and helping others through our product, our opportunity, and our philanthropic arm. And we are committed to helping you succeed. I want every single one of you to have your dreams come true. And I know that it's possible, because if it can happen to a girl from Massapequa, Long Island, that just wore a cowgirl hat and thought, I can do it, you can too. You can do for sure. Thank you.